In this video, I'm going to show you a secret little route that will take your bunch tight end to the next level. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for watching uh, today's video. Now, if you've never, never been to my channel before, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to become a better player alongside of me, I want you to join me in this journey by clicking the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. And basically what I do on YouTube is as I learn things from either pro players, other players, um, my losses, players I play online, or just in a practice mode, I share those with you on the channel. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that the best players in the community are using, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk today. I played in the Madden Classic, and I did okay. I qualified uh, for the uh, for next weekend. So as we're preparing, um, the offense that I ran in the Madden Classic was the bunch tight end. I believe it's the best offense in the entire game. And the reason why I believe it's the best offense in the entire game is it combines a little bit of the concepts from trips tight end and from gun bunch within one little offensive set, uh, as well as some really, really hard uh, running plays for the user to be able to stop. So that to be said, um, I want to share with you a route combination that is really, really good against zone, but it's also really good against man. And um, and, and this is a, a new combination, not really a new combination, but it's one little tweak on it. And you probably know the combination once I throw it on the field. But I, what I think you're going to be impressed with, or not, maybe not even impressed with, but I think you're going to be interested in, is the route adjustment that I make to this to this uh, to this route, and the reason I say this is because I actually um, stumbled upon this. I was um, I was on YouTube one day, and I was getting ready. I was setting up my stream, and I noticed that Civil was streaming. Well, I'm a huge fan of Civil's and the work that he does over at TNC, and obviously huge huge fan of, of Decroft and Jay Wall and Civil. Those are probably the three of my favorite players in the game to watch. Um, and I was I was watching. I just popped into a stream for a second, said hello, and I noticed. I think he was playing weekendly. I can't remember what he was playing, but um, he did this adjustment out of bunch tight end. I thought it was super super smart, and so I jumped in the lab and kind of practiced it a little bit. And I realized that you could do this, and it actually does a really good job, not only against zone coverage, but it actually does even better against man coverage. So the play is curl flat corner. You can do this out of several plays in this offense. I like to do it most out of curl flat corner. So. Here's the setup. It's super, super simple, but against man coverage, if you need an answer to curl flat corner or, or, or to uh, man coverage, this is it, okay? So what we're going to do, and, and you might know, you know, if you run bunch tight end, we probably all know that people run PA boot over, and they run it just like this right here with the delay fade. So that basically what happens is you're going to roll out, and then you're going to throw the delay fade. Well, there's a way that people will try to adjust to stop this. Essentially, the adjustment boils down to this right here. They're just going to simply drop this defensive end into a yellow zone. So, or, you know, either a vertical hook or a three rack. I think a three rack, if I remember correctly, is the best one to use because you see the vert hook doesn't, it kind of floats to the outside with the drag. But let's say they put, let me show you a three rack really quickly. But the bottom line is they're going to put some yellow zone out there. And essentially what they're banking on is that the yellow zone will guard um, will guard this. So you see here, it sits right in the zone. And I actually, you know, in the Madden Classic, the one game that I lost on the PlayStation 4, I threw an interception on that, and I didn't use this adjustment that I'm about to talk to you about. So um, I wrote a whole ebook on the bunch tied in. If you want a free sample of it, you can text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's the exact offense that I use um, in tournaments and money games and really anything serious right now. It's just such a good offense in my opinion. But anyways, here's the adjustment. And it actually works really, really good in combination with the PA boot over. Okay, All you're going to do is you are going to set up your any flood to the left side any flood so like this right here right this is a popular setup another one that i like late i've been liking a lot lately is this right here this version of it but essentially all you're going to do on the back side of your play is you're going to put your running back on a block and release route check release and then you're going to put your tight end on a block and release cross and you'll see here it's basically a drag route the reason why this works so well in my opinion is because it beats man coverage and zone coverage in the same thing. So it's not just, I thought it only beat zone. It actually beats both, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. But essentially, this flood concept on the left side is really good against zone. So you can motion out Austin, 
But what you'll see is if the play breaks down, just block and release, um, or just release your tight end. And what you'll notice that happens whenever you release your tight end, at least against man coverage, and I'm going to double team uh, Zadarius Smith so he doesn't give me as much trouble. But what you'll notice is if just watch the tight end and watch how he beats man. So I'm sitting here, and he gets that instant cut to the inside and beats man. And I know he doesn't kill it. It's not like he kills it. It's the same thing, though, from Peabood over, right? Like, you, if you roll out, you know, he will kill it. But what I like about it is, let's say play is breaking down. And let's say they play zone coverage on you, right? Well, they have all these yellows in the field. Well, now he's on a drag. And look, it gets wide open against the yellows, and it's about 15, 10 to 15 yards. This route is huge for me. Um, it's absolutely huge for me because when people run, you know, let's say, you know, one of the biggest issues with this curl flat corner play is that man coverage can give it a little bit of trouble. So you'll see that they'll do this adjustment right here. They'll throw that three wreck out there. They'll play man coverage. And then they might put their best corner on Devontae Adams. And if they do that, um, sometimes it can be really hard for me to beat the coverage. Right? So now the solution is just block and release. Let him go. And see, look. He's going to get open against that and get a couple yards. I know it's not a huge adjustment, but for me it's a huge deal. Because another little tip for you is let's say you're running a left side flood. So you know you're going to want to go out of the pocket to the left. If you just fade back into the left in the pocket, you'll see here if you have time, fade back, fade back, fade back, fade back. The same thing will happen. And as you can see, there's 20 yards against man coverage. The other thing that's interesting about this adjustment, and you can do this from other sets, but let's say that, um, let's say that, and it's going to be hard to show, but essentially, let's say this guy was their user, okay? Or let's just say this guy's their user, and I'm going to try to show it like this. He's going to jump up to the crosser, and then he's going to come back. Most of the time, they expect the, the, the tight end to be running into this, this line right here, right? This straight line, because that's where the delay fade is. So now what I want to show you is how this drag really does open up some really pop, I mean, really good space and grass for your offense. So again, you sit there, oh, release him, and now instead their user will almost never go to the drag. They almost always go to the delay fade. So I thought that was a huge adjustment from Civil, and um, it was kind of crazy. I mean, it was just kind of funny. I just literally stumbled upon his stream one night and saw him doing it, and I was like, oh, I gotta try that out. And sure enough, I mean, it's a great it's a great little addition uh, to everything else. So now when I run this offense, you'll see that I've been I've been incorporating this more and more. I mean, this block and release drag, I don't think people realize how good this is. I, I was practicing, I was doing a coaching session, I believe, and I was, t if you want to get a coaching session there in the description, but I was talking to the guy about a five wide formation where you have two tight ends there, and you can double drag them, and they're free, they're really hard to stop, those, those little block and release crossers, because they don't get bumped. They, they have a really sharp cut to them, so they do a good job against man. They obviously do a good job against zone. So, anyways, that is a little bit about one of the, I think, one of the most important adjustments out of the bunch tight end. Now, if you want to get the full ebook um, that I've written, a lot of people have been having a lot of success with it, putting up a lot of yards uh, passing, that ebook is in the description of this video. I want to thank you so much for watching this video, and if you have any questions, you can always hit me up via text message. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I think we might be 10.30 tonight because it's Monday, but we'll be on tonight at about 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you guys want to come and hang out, um, it would be great to talk Madden with you. Last thing that I want to just remind you of is if you want to get that bunch tight end offensive ebook, it's on sale right now. The link is in the description. And if you want to get a free sample, just hit me up via text. My number is in the description.